This may be the hardest construction to do well. I'm going to construct a triangle using an angle, a side, and another angle. And since I'm copying angles, there's a lot of room for things to go wrong, so you have to be very careful with this one. I'm going to start off by copying the side on my baseline. All you get is one side, so I've copied the red segment here. I'm just going to mark it with a red pen. That is the length of one side. And so think of the triangle. It's got one side, and on the two endpoints, there's going to be an angle on the left and an angle on the right. I just don't know where they are yet. So let's find out. Take your compass and pick either angle. I'm going to the green angle and I'm going to do copy an angle. Copy an angle construction and swing an arc across the two green rays. Oh, that came close there, but that's, that's going to be all right. Don't let your compass move at all. It's going to be the exact same gap now. When I go over to the end point for my construction, I have to have that gap the same way so that this arc and the other arc are exactly the same arcs. And when I measure the gap of the original arc, take my compass and very carefully find out distance between there on that arc. If you want to, you can make a little, uh, little swing here, make sure it fits on it. And it helps to have a sharp pencil. And come over to my construction and on that arc I'm going to swing a little mark here to find out where it crosses. Through two points there's exactly one line that can be drawn. And now I have my second point. And this is the angle. I'm not, I don't know the side yet, but I know the angle. It's along there somewhere. That, think of that as a ray. That's the angle. I just don't know where that the next end point's gonna be. So I'm gonna go over and measure the other angle. Copy an angle, swing an arc. This one looks like it's obtuse. So I'm going to need a big arc here. Don't let your compass move. I'm coming to the other, the other end point, don't forget. And think of the triangle, it's going to be on the inside here. So I'm going to swing a blue arc long enough for that obtuse angle. And then some, a little bit longer, make sure it fits. Come over and find the gap of the blue angle. You have to be really careful and precise with this. And now make sure you don't get your lines confused. I need to measure the gap here for this blue arc. Swing a little mark there and I have my second X. From the other end point through the blue X, I'm going to draw my next ray. And you'll see now those rays are shooting up and eventually they're going to cross. Looks right near the edge of the paper. So take your straight edge and if this happens to you, you're going to have to extend it up until you find where they cross. Extend the ray until you find the third vertex of your triangle. And there I have it. Angle, side, angle triangle construction.